How's it going, everybody? Arturbyz0, winnersandmarners.com, and today we have one MLB game that we are discussing for the Wednesday, April 10, 2020, 24 slated games. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you guys quickly about a promotion we are running over at winnersandmarners.com, where you guys can save 35% off on all my packages until further notice if you use the promo code XFT3W435. That is all one word, no spaces. Make sure to go check out my profile as well as some of our other top performers as in addition to this video that you are getting for free on YouTube.com. You guys get access to my written picks as well as what I'm betting on throughout the day. So you guys are always in the loop. Again, go to winnersandwinners.com. Use the promo code XFT3W435. 35% off until further notice. Also, check out the link in the description below. Link to all of our affiliate sportsbook promotional signups. So if you guys are in the market for a new sportsbook or just want to take advantage of some free bonus bets, make sure to go use the link below. It shows you uh, which sportsbooks we offer bonus bets for each sportsbook and a link to go sign up. You guys get those bonus bets. We get an affiliate bonus. Everybody wins at the end of the day. So if you have not read the title, we're talking about the Oakland Athletics heading to Globe Life Field to take on the Texas Rangers. Uh, these teams did play yesterday. The A's were able to pick up a 4-3 to win on the back of Shea Langarius. Uh, he had three home runs, four RBIs. Able to win 4-3. to uh, But right now, we're going to have Rush Stripling on the mound for Oakland. 0-2, 3.75 ERA. Taking on Cody Bradford, who is 2-0. 2.13 ERA for the Rangers. Uh, this Texas Rangers team is the better team overall. I understand they lost yesterday. I don't think they lose again this series, especially. Uh, give me Texas to win here at home. I like their offense better. I know Ross Stripling is a good pitcher. I just do not see this Oakland Athletics team hitting uh, as well as they did yesterday. Again, all that offense came from one guy. So the rest of the lineup is going to give me a little bit of concern here. Uh, I just don't see them really being able to do much. I mean, outside of Shea Ligarius, who was uh, 3 for 4, the rest of the team went 2 of 28 uh, at the plate. So I just don't see this offense really doing much, obviously. Uh, three home run game is nothing to sneeze at, but I just don't think they're going to be able to do that here in order to really get enough offense to to win the game. So, again, give me Texas to win. And that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one.